Okay, so we're going to be benchmarking native Windows performance against Proton. And because I had to do clean installs of both Windows and Linux, I decided to time how long it took both of them to get finished with installing. Uh, just I was because I had to install them anyway. So it took Windows 17 minutes to get to a usable desktop and 39 minutes to finish fully updating and installing drivers. It took Manjaro 11 minutes to get to a usable desktop and 19 minutes to finish updating and installing drivers. Okay, so for the methodology for the games, I did three runs for each game on each operating system and I and I averaged the results between the three runs and that's what the graph is comparing and then I did a second set of runs uh, three runs for each game again and I optimized both systems a little bit so on Windows for the optimized runs I turned on uh, GPU hardware scheduling and set the uh, GPU power limit in the NVIDIA drivers to uh, prefer maximum performance and then I set the power settings in Windows uh, to high performance and then on Linux for the optimized I changed the CPU scheduler to performance and I set the NVIDIA driver to prefer maximum performance. The unoptimized runs on Assassin's Creed are about equal. The minimums on Linux suffered a little bit, but the averages are pretty much equal between the two operating systems. But on the uh, optimized settings, it looks like Linux suffered a little bit of uh, performance loss. I suspect this is due to the uh, CPU not being able to uh, clock as highly on you know, single core workloads when a uh, scheduler is set to maximum performance and Windows probably didn't suffer the same performance loss because it's not as CPU bound because there's no compatibility layer. That's my best guess anyway. In Metro, Windows uh, ekes out a win here. Um, I, I just cranked the settings on every game so that any cracks that were in Proton would uh, show up easier. And it looks like there are some. There is a little bit of performance loss, but honestly, it's not that much. Now, Quake 2 RTX, they're so close to each other that I would consider this equal across the board. I suspect it's because this is very GPU bound, and I'm assuming most of the performance loss from Proton would come from uh, CPU. Now, Borderlands 3 is running through Wine and not Proton, since I have it on the epic games store uh, but i thought it would be fine to include it in this anyway you can see the frame time on windows is much smoother and i suspect mm, uh, it's so spiky on linux because i haven't played this game much so none of the shaders have really been compiled uh, to be translated to vulcan and as you play i think it would smooth out a little bit and get closer to windows but i don't know how much closer to windows it would get but you know, it's not unplayable. It's just not as smooth as it would be on Windows. Now, uh, Metro, Last Light Redux, and Quake 2 both had native Linux versions, but I forced Steam to download the Windows versions and run them through Proton. I just thought it would be important to clear that up.